Hello and welcome back to the Tin Barn. I'm Pragmatic Lee and in today's video we're going to make a uh, specialty shoulder bolt. Uh, if you note the paint on there you, uh, you might get an idea of what it comes off of or what, what piece of equipment it comes off of. But this has a short threaded area, a short uh, non-threaded area, double shoulders. Hopefully you can see that. And then a half inch diameter head. We're going to make this out of a, a half inch coal roll stock. It mates to this piece. And in the next video, most likely it'll be my next video next week, We'll make that piece, and in that video, I'll show you, tell you what it goes to and how it's used. But today, we're just going to concentrate on making this shoulder bolt. There's going to be a little bit of lathe work, a little bit of bench work, and a little bit of mill work. So let's turn to the lathe first. Before we turn to the lathe, though, I will show you that I've got the half-inch uh, round stock mounted in a collet block and a half-inch collet. Doing that, uh, even though the round stock would fit in the three jaw fine, since it's got to go from the lathe to the mill uh, and be in a collet in the mill anyhow to do the two flats, I'll go ahead and go with a six sided uh, collet block which will work fine in the three jaw chuck and then when we get in the mill we can use two opposing sides to mill our flats. Have the workpiece, of course in the collet block and call it block in the chuck. Now and the first thing we're going to do is is face off this uh, face off the end. It's got a pretty good saw cut on it but we'll we'll face it anyway. Alright, the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to set the uh, zero on the, uh, zero out the z-axis on the DRO, and we need to come in 860 thousandths. And we'll set the carriage stop, we'll lock it in place. Alright, we're going to turn this down, this is 500 thousandths stock, we're going to turn it down to 320 thousandths. But we'll get a we'll get a clean up pass on here first, then take a measurement. And I'll zero out the X axis on the uh, DRO as well. All right, that's four hundred seventy three thousandths. So over here on the DRO, we'll 1473 minus what we want, which is 320. So we got 152 thousandths left to go. We'll take that in uh, about 50 thousandths increments thereabouts. We should have about 50 thousandths left. Remember, we're looking 320. And we're at 372. So we got about 52 thousandths. Three hundred nineteen and a half. All right. Next thing we need to do is this end part down here that's going to be threaded. We're going to take just a 
about 15 more thousandths off of that. We'll check our zero. It's still good on the Z axis. But we'll come in this time 575 thousandths. That's how much is actually threaded. All right. And the we can come back to the zero we had on the x axis and take that additional 15 thousandths. This spread will be at 5 sixteenths 18. And at 5 sixteenths is actually 312 thousandths. But measuring the other bolt, that was about 305 thousandths on this end. There's 308. We'll make a just a little cleanup pass here. And to help lead in that thread just a little bit, we're going to put just just a little chamfer on this end. I don't want too much. If you put too much of a lead-in chamfer, your die will slip. Now, since this, like I say, is a 5 16 18 thread, I'm not going to try to single point it. I'm just going to turn this over, turn around to the vise on the uh, workbench and cut this with a die. All right, I'm over at the bench vise now. I always have soft jaws on in this vise just for situations like this. Uh, but I've got the uh, collet block in. We'll take our die very carefully get it started straight and a drop or two of rapid tap never hurt anything Now I'm going to reverse the uh, the tap, or I'm sorry, reverse the die. This particular die has a a good long lead in, which is uh, great for starting taps. Now we'll switch it around to this side and tap down to the bottom of our of our turned area. Sometimes just a simple old die and handle is easier than trying to tap it on the lathe, either single point or with a tap follower, die follower. Let's see if a 5 16 18 nut will fit that. Just like a glove. So now we're going to turn over to the mill and put a couple of flat shoulders. All right, I'm over at the uh, milling machine now. And I'm going to set our collet block in, being mindful to keep this edge of the collet block even with the edge of the vice jaw. And you see that wanting to tilt back just a little bit there? What I think I'm going to do is take a wide parallel and put across the ways on the vise. That way it can't rock. All right, this flat needs to step in 
84,000. So I knew I had it written down in my notes somewhere. I just had to find it. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, we'll come down. And what I'm going to do now is take just a small piece of paper. And I'm going to reach around here on the back side. I don't like doing that. This is not that critical. I think what I'm going to do is just just going to bring that down till it touches. I zeroed out the DRO. Now I'll come in until it just touches there. Alright, there it's touching. So I zero out the X axis DRO. Come back over here. And we're going to come in the 84 thousandths. I'm going to take about half of it at a time. I can come back down just a little. Now we'll come the other half of our 84 thousandths. And I will re zero out the uh, x axis on the DRO because when we flip it, we're going to be mindful to keep these edges together back here. So we should be able to come in the same distance and the depth should be fine as well. We'll back off half of that cut. Go back to our zero. There's a shoulder on each side of our shoulder bolt. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. We'll go over to the uh, bandsaw and cut it to length. Okay, I'm over here at the horizontal bandsaw now. Workpiece is still in the uh, in the collet, just like it was when we started this piece. And the distance from the long part of this uh, shoulder to the end of the head is 350 thousandths. The caliper set just a just a little bit long right now. We'll lock that down. turned my back about the time it cut off and didn't won't stand in there to catch it and of course it fell in the drink so let's see what we can do about getting it out getting it and 10,000 chips that was something else all right there we go now what I'm going to do is take the the work style out of this collet, put a 5 16 collet in, turn it around, meet you back at the lathe, and we'll uh, clean up this end and chamfer it. All right, I got a 5 16 collet now, which is what the, uh, this was, the threads were turned down to. The, this upper shoulder is just a little bit larger than 5 16 but we'll tap it into the collet. Place it in the collet block. And the way these collet blocks work, you got a, a, a lock ring on the end. And then just take a spanner. Oh, 
All right, now we can set this back in the lathe, face off this end, and put a little chaffer on. All right, I think I've got you in a position where you can see what's going on without me getting in the way. We'll put the collet block right back in the three jaw. When I'm facing like this, I like to lock my table down over here. It's just out of out of frame, but carriage lock. And we'll start it up and come in on the uh, compound. I don't know, five or six thousandths. That didn't quite clean up. Switch out tools right quick and put just a, a little chamfer on that. Alright, we'll turn back to the workbench and do a quick recap. Alright folks, I realize this has been kind of a short video compared to my normal 30 to 40 minute videos, but at least you got to see some facing turning, chamfering on the lathe, and a little milling on the milling machine of the shoulders, and even some uh, uh, cut off with the uh, horizontal band saw. So you got some saw, some mill, and some lathe, and even some hand tapping here on the workbench. Stay tuned to the channel because next week we're going to, or in the next video, we're going to make the matching part for this. And the two pieces might even get some of that specialty paint. Take care and I'll see you on the next video.